Hi. Hi, everyone. Uh, Julian just sent me a message. Uh, he will be joining in, in a minute, so let's give him some time. And looks like we are mostly remote. We see a few people in the room. And uh, Hari, our secretary, is helping us on site. So I'll let Hari also confirm when we are ready to go. So just bear with us for a few minutes. We'll be starting soon. Thanks, Sari. Yeah, I see Julian joining in. Hi, everyone. Sorry. Uh, hi, Julian. I think we can start. Okay. So, hello, everyone. This is the past competition element walking room session. First one of the two that uh, you can see uh, reminded here. Um, so as usual, you know the, the best practices when uh, we are uh, remote, uh, attending remotely using Meteco. We should have a couple of people on site, I guess. I don't see so many in the room, but uh, Harry is there. Hi, Harry. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Uh, so the usual not well, you should be already familiar with them as well. Uh, you're supposed to be reading them when you subscribe and register. Uh, there are uh, rules related to uh, um, internal property uh, in the IETF. So please make sure you are aware of them and follow the guidelines that are depicted here in the BCPs listed on the slide. Next, please. So, a new situation, we have a meeting using a mix of people attending both remotely and on, on, on site. So, more than any uh, other the previous one, make sure in both cases that you follow the guideline, respect the cues, uh, state your name when you're coming to the mic and get the floor. Uh, um, We'll make sure that Harry uh, is there on site to follow the, the guidelines. Um, in case uh, you are tuning our video, especially on site, please uh, also try to <laughs> stay on the uh, on square. Uh, next, please. So the usual URLs, uh, they have, we have um, not taking happening. So in case you want to join uh, Harry on uh, the not taking uh, stuff, please feel free to, to connect to the note uh, ITF uh, page and uh, give a hand to Harry on not taking, especially in case of uh, names when you take the floor or may want to check that what you've been stating on the mic has been uh, properly recorded in the minutes. Next, please. So, as usual, we are human beings, so we respect each other. 
you should all be familiar with this living in society courtesy is at stake thanks so as we just said harry is working on the minutes from on-site premises uh, there are uh, usual behaviors using the queue both on site and on Metico. On the links to the notesietf.org is right there, so feel free to join. Uh, as usual, keep in mind that most of the ITF work is happening on the mailing list, so make sure that at least you, you participate to the, the polls that are happening on the list both at adoption time and working with blast code times uh, taking part into technical discussion is also the way we progress work so make sure that uh, you, you dive into it as much as possible we need people sharing on the mailing list to uh, judge consumers uh, as chairs as well so try to make use of the list as much as possible we know that sometimes things are happening in the background why not but try also to make major progress visible on the mailing list. Uh, you may also use it to discuss with the working group for um, side matters like uh, contract allocation uh, that could happen early, depending on the level of maturity of implementations. Uh, we know many of you already know the stuff, but in case you have that, just ask the chairs and we're there to help and provide uh, info on trigger processes if uh, necessary. Next, please. So, agenda bashing. You see both uh, sessions depicted here. Anyone want to say something about the agendas for today and tomorrow? Okay. We'll take this as uh, everything's fine. Thank you. So, working group status. Since the previous IETF uh, that happened fully remotely, we got one new RFC about uh, IETF uh, PCEP flow spec. Uh, we have one with the IESG about uh, uh, the, the binding label in, in PCEP. There have been some discussed uh, raised by the ADs. Uh, most of the issues are clear. Uh, and I guess the discuss are also cleared in the data tracker right now, so we can hope that this draft will uh, progress and resume to RFC status right uh, far before the, the next IETF meeting, so it's in good uh, progress. Next. Uh, currently in the working group hands, uh, we have one errata uh, about um, uh, a bit uh, issue or a wrong wording in the bit description, the flag description used in RFC uh, 8664. Uh, the errata is valid, so this is part of the, the fix that uh, should be handled. Uh, we have four uh, draft Currently, with the uh, within the um, IANA Hali code part allocation uh, stack for the, the working group, uh, three of them were renewed uh, not far ago, and the a new one uh, happened uh, at the beginning of the year. So the, the process is uh, quite simple. In case it's uh, needed for uh, some implementations about new documents, please uh, ask a chair and talk about, the, the, express the, the needs. Thanks. So for the working group detailed status on the associated working group IDs, I'll leave the floor to Drav. Thank you. Thanks, Julian. You're welcome. So let's start uh, with the documents which are in the post working group last call phase. We have first document, which is stateful GMPLS. I'm the shepherd for this document, and I have done the review. And we are now waiting for authors to de do the rework. And if any authors of any of the document want to come and uh, say something on the mic, please uh, uh, come and use the mic time uh, for this. I see Haumian on the queue. Go ahead, Haumian, if you want to talk about GMPLS. 
makes the chairs know that I, I will be updating and as a pen holder. Uh, it's on my to-do list. Uh, it would be expected to be completed in one or two weeks. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the next document is VN Association. Uh, here also we received some good comments uh, during the working group last call. Uh, we are still waiting for the working group last call comments to be handled, after which shepherd review would be done by Hari. So thanks, Hari, for being the shepherd for this document. Uh, we also started one thread related use of ASCII in PCEP. So please participate in that thread. Let us know your inputs. And then chairs would be uh, like you know collecting that input and taking the next step based on the feedback that we receive from the working group. So please do that. Uh, Haumian, any uh, comments association? I think you are the editor for this one as well. Right after the previous one. Okay, thank you. Your cues are full. <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, next, we have PSIP Young. Uh, I am the editor for this one. So first, let me give the update. Uh, so we posted a new version uh, in January. Uh, the major changes were one comment was with respect to use of IP address no zone. Uh, so that change has been made. Uh, we had a request to add a RPC to reset all the PSIP statistics. So that is done as well. So thanks for comments from Tom Petch and Robert Verga on this. And uh, Julian has also made a request for the Yang Doctor review. So once we have the Yang Doctor review, uh, we will uh, like you know uh, handle that. And then I think this document is nearing working group last call. All our dependencies are also uh, nearing working group last call. So we don't have any pending dependency as such. So hopefully this document also we should be uh, processing soon. Note that we had an early Yang Doctor review, but that was for much older version. So it made sense to request Yang Doctor review again, much nearer to the working group last call. If anybody has any questions on this document, please let us know. OK, otherwise I'll continue. OK, so some other documents that are nearing working group last call. Uh, we have local protection enforcement. This is on the agenda as the next document, so I will not talk about it. Let's use the agenda time to discuss that. Uh, we have uh, SRV6 document. Uh, an update was made, and one error which we talked about errata with FBIT that error existed in this document as well, and it has been fixed. We had some comments in binding SID related to SID structure. So those were applicable to this document as well. And authors have uh, updated the SID structure uh, description, added, uh, also handled one comment with respect to how to do the optional fields in SRV6 ERO. So how should we maintain the order of the various different optional fields in SRV6 ERO. So one section has been added. So please review uh, this new, uh, new uh, changes that have been done. And then uh, the binding SID actually has a normative uh, reference to this document. So binding SID has to, will be in a misref state until this document we send to the ISG and the RFC editor. So I think we should prioritize moving this work. So everybody in the working group, kindly review uh, this document so that we can progress it out of the working group soon. Uh, any comments on SRV6? OK. Uh, more documents. We have a PCEP native IP extension. Uh, here we have authors made two updates. Uh, this has been presented in the IDR interim as well. Uh, authors asked for request for comments on the IDR list as well, where Sue had commented and uh, authors have made an update of this document as well. So I think uh, we would be, uh, when we do working group last call, we will be doing a cross posting in both IDR list and PC list. And uh, this document is also nearing a working group last call state. Uh, Aijun, if you want to add something, please feel free to use the time otherwise i'll continue okay 
Okay. Uh, next, we have FlexGrid. Uh, here, we haven't had many technical changes for a long time. I wanted to check with the authors. Are there any pending issues? Can we consider this document also to be ready? And if there is any other review steps that can be done uh, to get more eyes on this document. OK, let's move on. Uh, this document we discussed last time as well, enhanced errors. Uh, we have had no change, and but we are in a limbo here. Like you know, last time we thought that we'll ask the working group to get feedback on what do we do with this document. And some of the options are listed here. Like, should we make this work experimental and try to commit some reviewers and publish it now? Should we wait for some implementations to actually implement this? Uh, the issue is that we have this feature, but this feature is not currently being used by any of the document. And one document that we kind of think which can use this is the stateful interdomain document. So I hope like the authors of stateful interdomain and authors of this document can work together and give some feedback to the chairs on what should be the next step with respect to this document. So we are still looking for that feedback and we are especially looking for feedback from stateful interdomain authors and other people in the working group as well on what do they, what do they think should be the next step uh, for this document. So the window is still open. Please let us know if you have any comments now or on the mailing list. Okay, so some other documents that we have is SR path segment. Uh, it, there hasn't been no big technical change. Uh, the work is aligned to changes that were made in the binding set recently. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any open issues, but I wanted to recheck from authors and others in the working group if they have any concern with the path segment work uh, that is happening in PSAP. And they, the related work in Spring is also making progress. So I think it will be time for us in PSAP also to uh, align that work and move it out. So if anybody has any concerns or authors have any update, please let us know. Similarly, we have SR bidirectional path. Uh, the work seems to be stable. Uh, we are asking, are there any open issues? Is there anything that is pending in this work? Otherwise, we will also start considering these items as almost ready for last call. So please let us know. Next, we have, uh, uh, we have a, a document related to SR policy. There hasn't been an update since the last ITF. Uh, so uh, authors, are there any pending issues? Uh, anything, please use the list, discuss, and make sure that the work is aligned to Spring and IDR work that is also happening. Uh, with respect to PCC SR, uh, we had one update. It was a minor update, and I think the work is looking for more reviews and uh, more eyes on these documents. So uh, working group, we have a lot of working group adopted uh, documents, and we are requesting the working group to do more reviews, give us comments, so that we can progress this document uh, as a part of normal working group process. Uh, we have stateful interdomain. Uh, the stateful interdomain, my question to the authors is uh, the part that we just discussed regarding enhanced errors. If the features of enhanced errors can be used in stateful interdomain, that would be a good entry point and a feedback from the working group on how to progress both the documents together. Uh, we have document related to extended flags in LSP. I think this work uh, is important because other documents are assigning flags as a part of this LSP extended flag TLV. And we should progress this document uh, out of the working group soon since we have other dependencies on this. Uh, we have multi-path document. This document had a, a big revision this time. Uh, they had uh, they added a reverse path information as a part of I flag. They also added text related to use of path ID zero and marking it as reserved for the absence of path ID. And there are also some comments from ITF one one two with respect to 
text related to SR bidirectional association. So there is uh, some pending comments as well. So I request authors to handle it and maybe discuss these changes that they have made recently on the mailing list so that more eyes uh, are put on this document. Uh, the state sync document, there was no update this time. So I will skip over it. Uh, we have optional fields, optional objects, marking some of the PCEP objects as optional. That work also has no recent update, but the document handled the working group adoption comments, and there are no pending comments as of now. So people who have feedback, please uh, use the mailing list for this. And for SR P2MP policy, uh, since we have adopted that work, there have not been any uh, update. So are there comments? There is changes that are happening in other working groups related to this work. So we need to make sure that the alignment is also maintained between PIM, Spring, IDR, etc., related to this work. And uh, recent adopted documents, these were just adopted between the last ITF and now we have L2 flow spec. Uh, this was the work that was taken out from the PCEP flow spec so that it can be progressed. And all the changes related to RFC 9168 and the IDR flow spec V2 work, those alignment has been done and the authors have posted uh, uh, an update. So thanks for that. Uh, we have SID algo. Uh, this was adopted. Uh, there were comments during working group adoption, but they are currently pending. So request authors to handle this comment as well. And that will bring me to my last slide, which is our working group adoption queue. Uh, this has been updated in our wiki. So please have a look. This is the current order that we would be uh, using uh, for the recent adoption. So next on queue would be the path MTU. We have SRV6 Yang. IFIT, which is actually on the agenda today as well, and then uh, PCCC SRV6 work as well. Uh, and if authors have, they feel that their document is also ready for adoption, please send a note to the chairs and we will discuss and update our queues accordingly. So I now would request anybody who has any comments on any of our working group uh, adopted work. Uh, use this time. If they want to discuss something, please use it. Otherwise, we will go back to the main agenda from now. I don't see anyone in the queue. Okay, so let's get on with our agenda. And the first presentation we have is from Andrew. Hello, everyone. Uh, if you can hear me okay. Yes, Andrew. Oh. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Um, I'll be just giving a status update on local protection enforcement um, on behalf of well, the other co-authors as well. Uh, next slide, please. So this basically just summarizes really what this document is all about. Um, the main two things are really that there's wording and statements around the usage of the existing local protection bit. This was really driven because of interop uh, misinterpretations on how local protection should actually be enforced. And so a lot of the text is really trying to be, you know, generally backwards compatible while actually clearing up uh, those misinterpretations. In addition to this, there's a new flag that actually opens up new capabilities that are used for actually enforcing that local protection. So that way we get the ability to, you know, strictly control whether or not local protection is actually needed, required, must be done, or not relevant. Um, so you can see in the diagram there that it's really just a new bit that's associated with the LSP attributes. Uh, next slide, please. So the current status is, well, 00 was uploaded in 2019. Uh, it's been presented here to the PC working group a couple times. Um, as was mentioned earlier, it was adopted in 2020. The code point allowed implementation to move forward with it, and that code point has now been reallocated. So naturally, the uh, or renewed rather. So now naturally, the concern is making sure that you know the document can progress before that early code point actually expires again. Um, the draft is pretty much stable, you know, in terms of the the technical goals that it's trying to achieve, the actual 
use cases, you know, the descriptions. Um, so really, we're just kind of seeking, you know, moving towards working group last call. So that way we can kind of uh, wrap this up a little bit. Uh, next slide, please. Um, but naturally, before doing that, I went back and looked at that note to see if there was anything outstanding. And there was really just some kind of open comments about, you know, generalizing the conflict of enforcement. Um, so that EBIT flag, you know, should that be generalized for all objects in BSEP or all attributes in BSEP? Um, and again, these are just kind of generalized comments. So I'm just trying to address it here in the, the group. And actually, we can take this to the list. Um, so the main question, I think, is, you know, is this actually required by this document? Or is it safe and okay to, you know, proceed with that new EBIT flag being defined as it is in the document? Um, so as a reminder to that, you know, there is the PC optional document, which covers generalizing object enforcement. In this case, these are attribute flags, so it doesn't get covered by that document. Um, so there was an idea proposed on the list to basically, you know, move object flags into a TLV and follow a similar pattern that RFC 5420 was doing. Um, but it was also an open suggestion. And so um, at the current moment, you know, we basically see that doesn't really seem necessary at this time, just because we do have bits available. Um, naturally, it would be good for the group to, you know, progress in that direction. Um, but I'm basically raising this topic up to, you know, get consensus on whether or not we think it's perfectly fine to just use the EBIT as it is, or if this is like a must, you know, move in this kind of direction. So again, seeking a, just some kind of consensus on that. And uh, next slide, please. And that's everything I've got. So good for any uh, comments or you know, clarification really on this kind of slide. Thanks. Yes, uh, thanks, Andrew. Uh, are there any questions? Please use the Meet Echo queue for both on-site and uh, of course the online folks. And we'll be following the Meet Echo queue. Uh, so just my personal opinion and without any hats, uh, I would think that like, you know, what you are proposing seems to be rational that is we can keep this work as a separate entity. And uh, if there is a need for uh, doing this thing for, for flags, maybe that can be handled as a part of PC optional because that document is anyway focusing on how this how to do this optional work for objects and if there is a need to do that per flag and there is some suggestion for it maybe we can handle that in optional document and anyway we are a volunteer driven uh, uh, like you know organization so the people who had that comment and they have a proposal on hand maybe they can uh, provide that as uh, input to pc optional and since pc optional is now an adopted work it can be uh, updated as a part of normal working group process. So there is nothing that is blocking this to be handled uh, within the working group but, uh, as well. So if anybody has any thoughts on this, comments, uh, if I remember correctly, it was Pavan who had this comment. So he can also confirm now or on the mailing list whether he likes this approach or not. Oh, I see him in the queue. Uh, Pavan, go ahead. Yeah, uh, yeah it was me who made that comment. Um, I still would like to see uh, a generalized approach for this, but yeah, I mean, I, I haven't, that said, I haven't uh, uh, contributed any text or uh, published a new, to new draft part discussing this, so I'm good with whatever is currently being done. But yeah, but uh, uh, I, I, I would like to see a general way of uh, enforcing this. Uh, but Pavan, can I ask one question? Is it okay if that is handled outside of this document? I'm okay with that. Yeah. Uh, for now, uh, I mean, you're saying you will just, uh, for just for this particular flag, we'll have this additional. Uh, there, there'll be an additional enforcement flag, but for any other attribute, if you want to enforce it, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, we can consider that as part of the uh, PC operational thing. That, you know, Okay. okay. Thanks. Andrew, go ahead. I just want to say thanks. And uh, yeah, it does sound reasonable to you know embed this into the optional document, just because it's really about you know 
do you actually respect these attributes of these flags? And the option mode just seems like the natural place to put it. Um, so that seems pretty reasonable. Um, yeah, thanks. Uh, Boris, sorry, I uh, missed you. So please. Yeah, a uh, very short question. Draft says about uh, implementations for both Nokia and Cisco. Are these engineering versions or general ones? Um, I could speak on Nokia's behalf. Uh, currently, they're engineering modes. Uh, uh, while you were presenting, uh, I saw uh, one more thing, like, you know, uh, maybe we need to do a little bit more language check. One thing which I found uh, maybe not the best, the use of the term must constrain and may constrain. Uh, I'm not sure that would be the best way to describe a mandatory field and optional field. Like, you know, whether we could use the word must constrain as a Term. So maybe we can find out what is the best description of this flag as well. I think as an uh, implementers, you and I understand what that means, but is that the best way to frame this? Uh, that's something also worth looking at. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll definitely, uh, I guess, try to see if there's a way maybe to extend on that. Really can explain it a little bit better. Perfect. Um, Thank you. So I, I guess... So if, if that was, I guess, the last comment that would be kind of need to be addressed, um, does the group think that we can probably move towards working group last call over the, you know, the next year or so? Uh, I think we should. Uh, we should respect the, especially the renew, uh, like the deadline that we have in mind with respect to uh, uh, the INA early code point. So we should definitely aim for uh, getting this document uh, working group last call accordingly. And I will discuss this with Julian and prioritize this accordingly once you have updated the last set of comments. Great, thank you. Okay, uh, I don't see anybody else in the queue, so let's. Anchyang, you are next. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, hello everyone, this is Xuan from CT. Uh, my presentation today is the PSAP extension for SRMPL's entropy label position. Last slide, please. Um, uh, this draft has been uh, presented for three times and we got many comments from many lists and the meetings. Um, they are appreciated from Stephen, Drew, Harry, Pemping, Jeff, and the term. Thank you very much. Uh, we made uh, updates before version seven. Uh, for example, we moved the uh, uh, bit to LSP extended flex, and we made a uh, clarification for the MSD and the ERLD limitation and the requirements in PC and interdomain scenario. We also made a clarification for ingress capability and the, the eBit is used to indicate the capability over inserting uh, multiple ELIEL pairs at PCC and support uh, the SR pass with ERP from PC at the same time. And so finally, we made clarification for the ELIEL positions uh, calculated for our SR pass. So this time uh, we uh, made updates uh, at the version uh, 7, uh, first we made clarification for PC to get MSD and uh, e ERLD capabilities and uh, adding reference to existing underlying IGP extensions, including EZS and OSF. And this uh, comments from the Jeff, and we also made a clarification and we moved, removed the minimum ERLD TRE uh, because this is not necessary. Uh, finally, we made a synchronized uh, update and uh, keep in consistent with the extension of PGP protocol. Uh, so last. Uh, so let's do the recap of the background. Uh, uh, 
uh, RFC 8662 proposes to apply the entropy label to SRMPLC networks and uh, provide the uh, criteria to determine the best ELIELs placement. Um, in RFC 8662, the ingress may not find the minimum ERLD unknown path and does not support the computation of the uh, minimum ERLD. Um, so controller, for example, the PC may perform the, uh, the end-to-end -end path per computation as well, as well as the entropy, entropy label position, uh, including the label and the place. Uh, so uh, we can uh, the, um, we propose the PSAP extensions to uh, contrib uh, compute the uh, uh, parse, is, uh, especially in inter-domain scenarios uh, with the uh, ELIL ELs number and the place. Uh, last slide, please. So we propose some PCAP extensions. First of all, uh, the PC could get the information such as M MSD and the ELRLD through the IGP and the uh, um, computer the minimum ELRLD along the end to end pass. First, for example, the ER ERLD value can be collected via ACS and the OSPF. Uh, the MSD value also can be uh, collected via RFC 8491 and the OSPF uh, RFC 8476. Then we also propose uh, an e bit to set to one in SRPC capability uh, in open object. Uh, when the e bit set to one, it indicates as uh, it supports the SR pass computation with uh, ERP uh, configuration. Also, it also indicates that uh, it supports the capability of inserting multiple ELI ELPs at PCC. Next slide, please. Uh, we also uh, propose the EBIT in LSP extended flag TLV in LSP object to indicate the PCC requests PC to compute the SR pass with ELP information. Uh, finally, we uh, add EBIT to set one to uh, in SRERO sublet object to indicate the position after the SRERO sub object is the position to insert the pairs. Otherwise, it cannot insert uh, pairs after the segment. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, this document has been discussed many times in details at uh, the meetings and the, on the mailing list, and all comments have has been resolved. And uh, thanks for your uh, comments and suggestion. And uh, the uh, the uh, according PGP extension, uh, the draft uh, IDR BGP SRMPLS ELP, the draft has been in adoption queue, and uh, so this. This document has made uh, according updates and uh, being in accordance with the BGP extensions. So I think uh, it's ready for uh, adoption. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, are there any questions? I don't see any questions. Uh, thanks for updating the documents and handling all the comments that you have received. So the last set of comments, as you said, was related to removing the minimum ERLD TLV. And after that, there are no other open no other. Uh, comments from. Uh, uh, sorry, I got a little feedback. So let me say that again. Are there any other open issues uh, from previous meetings or mailing list? No, as I know, uh, as far as I know, uh, this draft, uh, draft has no comments. Thank you. Uh, Julian and I will discuss and will update the uh, wiki accordingly. Thank you. Thank you, Doof. 
Okay, so let's move on to the last presentation for today. Giuseppe. Yeah, please yeah. go ahead. Hello, everybody. Yeah, this is an update about uh, the document on CSAP extension for IT. I'm presenting on the help of co author so next slide. And just a few words about background and motivation. So I feed refers to both in situ OIM and alternate mapping. The base draft about the methodology are quite stable, so you can see the reference document. Um, yeah, we all know that the PSAP extension um, can be used to, of course, to signal, in this case, the IFIT capabilities. These allow to have the IFIT methods automatically activated and running. Uh, the draft proposed to, to define the fit attributes and to be generalized as TLV in the LSPA object. And uh, the draft is general, so it means that it can be applied for all path types as long as they support the data plane method. Next slide. The first extension that is proposed is the IFIT capability TLV uh, that is an optional TLV to be used in the open object. Uh, there are five flags defined within the draft, so four are for the IOM uh, different option type, so pre-allocated trace option type, incremental trace option type, direct export option type, and then to end option type. And the last flag is for the alternate mask. Um, next slide. And then we also define the IFIT attribute CLB that provides the configurable nodes for the IFIT feature. And it is general and it includes different sub CLBs uh, for the LSPA object. Uh, in the next slide, we can see the five sub TLVs that uh, we propose. Uh, of course, these IFIT TLVs are optional and can be taken into account by the PCE or by the PCC. Uh, next slide. Yeah, you can see there the five sub TLVs that can be included in the IFIT attributes TLV. Um, four are for IOM feature and one is for alternate mask. Uh, next slide. Yeah, in this slide we just summarized the latest changes after IPF 112. We revised the uh, IANA consideration part uh, and we added different sub subsection for the PSAP TLV type, IP capability TLV flags. Uh, and the fit attribute sub TLV. In addition, we added the new subsection for enhanced al alternate marking sub TLV flags, and also a new subsec uh, subsection for PSAP error code, just to keep the structure uh, in line with other PC documents. Uh, next slide. Okay, yeah, well, we consider this document relevant to enable I feed. Uh, for control mechanisms. Uh, it's worth mentioning that since IFIT methods are becoming mature for IPv6, SRMPLS, and SRV6, this, this draft also complements the segment routing policy CP draft to enable lesser policy with native IFIT. Uh, of course, we ask for working group adoption. We address the latest comments and all the input received during the late the last ITF meeting. So of course questions and comments are welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Giuseppe. Any comments for Giuseppe on IFET? So here also uh, let me confirm that all the pending comments that you have received are resolved. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, we applied all the comments that we have received yeah, during the last week. Thank you. So I think this document is already in our uh, working group adoption queue, which you saw in my slides. 
and we yeah. would uh, like you know putting this up uh, after i think two more documents are in the queue and then we will do i fit okay and okay. please uh, please uh, keep the document uh, aligned with the other work that is happening in other working group because i think you have uh, i fit work in ppm and also proposal in idr so just make sure that the documents are aligned from the start rather than doing that at the end of the process sure sure i will double check with idr document of course thank you for it. sorry uh, are there any other comments uh, we have some time so if anybody has any other document from working group document that they would like to discuss any other comment we can use that time otherwise we'll give you 15 minutes of your life back uh julian uh, any parting thoughts nothing special thanks for participating today and hope to you tomorrow okay folks take care hopefully like you know you guys are enjoying vena and be safe bye bye everyone